Ome pata. Eh, sasa chukua tiki 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 uje kama na jamani ni simam. Wani ya. Thank you. Wani ni mungu tika how long? No, this is one of the very very mature. If you go for the end, I go for twenty four. Yeah, eighteen. Yeah, eighteen months. No, no, average is 12 months. 12, one year. Yes. Mm. <coughs> the, the traditional ones mm. here mm. take even three years. Hey, to bear? But those ones are not the cooking type. Mm. They are only for flour. Mm. Mm. For gali, uji, mm. like that. Oh, fermentation processes. Yeah, just for flour. Mm. <laughs> Bad and a little. Yeah, now I'm trying to This is one of the confined field trial sites in Kenya for transgenic cassava that is virus resistant and uh, at the moment uh, harvesting is taking place at the same time sampling the leaves to establish the extent of uh, disease resistance conferred by the genetic modification and this entire field with me here are the guard rows Eva, before you, you get into the <laughs> field uh, <laughs> where the transformed varieties are this one of the isolation zones that is free of any plants as you can see in the recording and then there you have the barriers the wire mesh that surrounds the trial site Yes, indeed. This is one of the fields in Kenya where GMO research work is going on at confined field trials. And this is Kenya Agriculture Research Institute, Alupe, in Busia, where trials are going on. on 
virus resistant to cassava for Africa. And the confined field trash. At the moment, we are also harvesting to determine the yield. There you are. This is a sample of various inflicted cassava plant you can see. These are stunted in growth. I'm told the technology that was used here is called G protein technology. The G protein binds the messenger RNA and triggers the silencing process. But here the researchers indicate that the G technology does not seem to be effective enough. As a result, we have selected the other silencing technology, which is called small interference RNA technology. Look, these are the plants that have been transformed with the silencing technology, and compare it with this, which has been transformed with a G. 5 protein technology there's a whole world of difference between the phenotypic appearance of the two plants this is highly inflicted by the virus and here you go these are healthy plants with the leaves quite intact by use of silencing technology and as you can see, these plants are happy and their counterparts here, they are in distress, of course. As a result, researchers have selected the silencing technology and they intend to replant the field again to generate more data for validation and for future application in more of their research work. This is a field as it is in Alupe. Here are some of the lines that are being used in research by the scientists. And as you can see, the field is organized into blocks. Here again, this is a G5 protein technology. It doesn't seem to work quite effectively as a virus. Uh, virus resistance is concerned, but compare it with this. This is silencing technology. It's more interfering RNA or gene silencing, which usually silences the virus via messenger RNA degradation as researchers or scientists will tell you and therefore here we are at a confined field trial site in Alupe uh, trying to figure out what it is that is happening at research level and uh, we are here as a national biosafety authority to inspect and also to supervise the sampling and harvesting process and also to monitor compliance with the necessary uh, biosafety regulations as far as confinement is concerned in the field which is our mandate as the authority therefore you have a first hand information on why